Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Your boy got that ice born. Um, I don't think you guys know that I will be 100% playing this game uh, as soon as I humanly possibly can because, my God, this game looks beautiful already and like always I am a huge Monster Hunter fanatic so always always happy to see me some Monster Hunter but um overall this week's episode of Bound and Stray Dogs man whew, I uh I was not expecting to see the backstory starting to like kick in and stuff I was really expecting to get like a full blown full out backstory <clears throat> but they definitely didn't go that route just because I feel like they already have like fleshed out a lot of characters you know they have done quite a bit with everything that we've learned so far and because of that I feel like it's easy for them to uh, not go with the you know go with that type of overall topic at this point and kind of just um, play around with the fact of what did these guys have in common? I need to drink a hot drink. Um, and what was like the thing that had the president of the detected, you know, like our agency or whatever, even know anything about uh, this guy? So uh, about the guy in the mafia, the leader of it, uh, above all, you know, so. Not only did he meet um, someone very dangerous and someone who's going to clearly be in his life for a while, see so, you now they are uh, attached at the hip, so to speak. Um, I think it's pretty funny that regardless of what they do now, um, they'll probably always be like stuck together. And we kind of learned the reasoning why they'll be like that. <laughs> uh, because of their boss or like the person who's kind of the middleman for all of them I mean when you look at people as strong as the Port Mafia and uh, you know the agency who in the heck could be higher than them or you know who could be even capable of you know keeping them under control and stuff like that so to learn the person who can do that is this person whose supposed uh, supposed ability is a cat <laughs> like his ability is called I am a cat so yeah I mean that should tell you a lot about him right like it's dead center of what I would expect to be capable of like beating up and giving out orders to uh, <laughs> these two regardless of you know how ridiculously powerful they are if there is a cat out there that can do something as crazy as blowing up a building like within the heart like a heartbeat uh then yeah that's that's definitely a scary power to be dealing with in the in the long term of things so to think that this person whoever he is or you know like the boss of um He's like the go he's like government uh, government level, which kind of gives me another good feeling for uh, this show when it comes down to uh, lasting, uh, like how how much longer this show is actually going to uh, be around for. I keep pushing R two, and I'm going to get used to the game again. But my God, man, <laughs> I played too many games. And I have lost all Monster Hunter knowledge. I, I feel so bad right now. Um, but yeah, with, with what I can understand of this character uh, from the Mafia, it feels as if he knows, you know, that if he works together in any type of way, shape, or form, they're always going to win, right? These two, these two, like, rivals. But at the same time, they just don't stand for the same thing. They don't agree on the same stuff. You know, it's just one of those things where you can't have your enemies uh, actually agree with your train of thought. And I think because of that, we get this whole notion that um, 
everybody uh, within the Port Mafia feels the same. Everybody within the agency feels the same about the Port Mafia, you know. So it's the perfect mixture of them kind of molding their their team, you know. They're molding up the ultimate people who are always going to, you know, protect and stick on your side. So because of that, you really don't have much to worry about when it comes down to portrayal because you already molded your group to feel a certain way about a certain group of people and it really plays out when we see um our our were tiger and their main like uh, offensive force working together and just the fact that um you know they're trying to get this done that they're trying to do all this it's because the mafia boss said so you know like if it was vice versa he said okay well as soon as you get alone with one of the guys, try to kill him. Like, <laughs> he, he would do it, you know, because the boss said so. And it's one of those really cool notions that they play so well on that you sometimes can't even tell, you know. You're just like, wait, is he doing this because of the boss or is he doing this because of Dazai? You know, they always put those little bit of um, convenient factors of like, what you get to guess now what it is uh, that they're actually doing this, like their motives for. So um, to think also that, man, like this episode has some sick stuff. So we also learn who's the cannibal guy. We literally met him and should have bodied him within like five seconds of meeting him, which this kind of plays in the favor of the mafia kind of having this way of fighting this way of handling business regardless of you being a a civilian or whatever if you're in the area of the mafia's targets then you get hit you know what i mean so that that kind of seemed like to be the case and to see it in this week's episode where they're like oh you can't kill anybody don't kill anybody hey you why are you trying to kill somebody you know like it, it just went and showed that, oh, if we would have killed this guy, both of our bosses would have been back alive and safe and sound. You know, like, we wouldn't have had anything else to worry about when it came down to that. And we would be moving on to the sub-boss. Like, the virus would already been handled. So, yeah, it, it, it's really playing a big role on, um, you know, the the agency that oh man they they really messed up everything type of deal what the heck did i just get hit with oh the little guy really bruh really bruh you see me knocking out this giant beast and you're gonna come and attack me oh my god the little monsters i'm gonna have a mission of just hunting little monsters and making their armor on stream okay we're doing that <laughs> um but yeah overall it it's really really fun to watch my favorite types of characters um, like go in like not only did I get to see the agencies uh, detect like the boss I got to see what he could do you know in action I got to see pretty much if he is to get in a fight by himself he's gonna be fine like this man this man is ridiculously powerful uh, not only did he shock the you know like he's old not I, I don't want to say old old but like he's definitely aged since the time of his prime of seeing the mafia boss and fighting with him uh, side by side and to think that he is still like on a level of shooting his weapon and straight up um he shot his weapon and actually made it so the guy who he's who he's fighting against didn't even see it like that's how quick this guy is still at this period of time in his uh fighting prowess so it's stuff like that that makes me like oh okay okay so he literally could be better than he is right now <laughs> i mean i didn't even mention the fact that he has a, a an ability that's literally eating away at him slowly but surely so it's these types of things in this show that give me the confidence to know there's probably a good another bits of stuff coming out after next week's episode. I mean, if you guys don't know it, next week's episode is supposedly the last episode of the season. So that's how quickly this is gone. I mean, 
I haven't had any real complaints. I've been enjoying myself, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the same. I am your boy, the Animator, and I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. I definitely have uh, some JoJo to record, so I'll hop on Jump Force and get that to you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome one, and peace. ears oh no that was a jump I may die here let's see sir Oh my gosh. Smash. Yeah. What you get? Life powder. Shock trap. Come on, buddy. Uh huh. 